Had a good time last night. I'm feeling it a little bit this morning still. Chris is like dead over here. Chris. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look at it outside right now. It's crazy. You see this? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I got your meals. <laughs> if you guys recall from the previous video when I talk about the meal Alex wanted me to create. He just showed me a picture of it. He's like, hey, create this. Check it out. Nice. Now here is the meal. So it is a little bit different and he likes his sausage a little bit more done, but that's the way he likes it. Crispy. And then uh, you can't see it under there, but there's potatoes, broccoli, zucchini, squash, and peppers. So he's got that meal. He'll most likely split it up into probably two meals, yeah. which is normally what he does anyways. He eats like half of it for lunch and then half of it when he gets back, like right now. Well, no, once he, you're going to CrossFit, then you'll be back and then you're gonna eat, right? Well, yeah, I eat half at lunch and then right now I, I like it. Yeah, but then he has his broccoli meal here. I had a little bit left over, so I'm eating some chicken and I'm eating potato and then some zucchini stuff. Yo, some Christmas music on. Yo, I put that stuff in there so, you know, maybe Chris will eat it. I saw it. I, I was actually going to put it back in your room. <laughs> no, just throw it away or give it to Chris. Don't put it back throw in my room. Away. Don't throw it away. Well, then go give it to somebody. I need to shut this. And then I'm going to talk about balance. I really want to talk about balance, though, when Chris gets here. Because Chris will be like, just live, man. Just live life. All right, so as I was talking about earlier, I got a haircut, obviously. But we were talking about balance. That's so loud. So loud. We are going to go out tonight, so I'll talk more about the balance of like lifting, eating clean, and going out. But we're going to we're gonna go out, we're going to take these shots, and uh, I'll talk about that more tomorrow. So like enjoy these clips of us going out. Oh. This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's inferno, the devil's maze. It's a good world. Alex did not go out with us. I, uh, I got McDonald's this morning, so I'm definitely, you know, I'm off. I really wasn't even planning on going out last night, but they were like, hey, let's go out. And I knew that I wasn't gonna go out for probably another, I don't know, like three, four weeks, or like I won't even be drinking until, you know, like Chris comes back in town. Chris is our, our bad influence. <laughs> Alex and I, we don't really drink other than, I mean, Alex might have a, a drink here or there, but yeah, we don't really drink unless Chris is in town. But now I think it's a good segue into the living life, the balanced lifestyle, or like the way that, I don't know, me personally, and Alex is somewhat on board as well. He, he's a little more, bit more lenient. And then Chris is just, he lives life, which is, which is great. But like when I'm doing the gym or like, you know, my fitness or trying to get cut and I just, me personally, like I have to go like, yeah, 110%. Like I don't drink, I don't, um, you know, go out and party again, but like maybe like once a month and that's when, you know, like Chris will come in town. But other than that, like we don't really, you know, I don't really drink. Um, I eat like all my prep foods. Like I might have a cheat meal like twice a week, maybe three times. But it's all like calculated into your, like you know you're gonna have that cheat yeah. meal. So you don't feel bad when you eat it. Yeah, but like lately, <laughs> and how my body has gotten to where it is right now. That is f 
cheat snacks once a day, cheat meals like six times a week. It just has to stop. Like it's just not the way that I like to do things. That does have an effect though on like, has a big effect on your life and like relationships and stuff like that because when I'm so dedicated to like the cut or like fitness to what I'm doing, it makes it very, very difficult to hold a relationship if the other person is not as into it as you are. Um, like friendships sometimes can get difficult because like if they want to go out and you're not about going out, like that can play into it as well. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't get, you can't get like super shredded and cut with a balanced lifestyle with the if it fits your macros lifestyle. It's just not the way that I like to do things. Alex, you got, I mean, you have any input here? Like, um, yeah. Well, I guess when, when talking about, you know, bulking season, it's more, I'm more lenient. Like I can drink during bulking season. Oh, that's season. a good point. Um, I can afford an extra, you know, do less reps or, you know, like, oh, I'll skip cardio today. Like I won't feel too bad. But when cutting season comes around, it's a whole nother ball game. It's yeah. like, it's like all in. Yeah. Like, you gotta go all in. Cause you gotta, yeah. you know, put in the work and your diet's gotta be on board. And it's just easier, right? To stay consistent. Yeah. Like if you, yeah. At least, again, and this is just our opinion, right? Like you, if you can do the if it fits your macros and have a more balanced lifestyle, that's great. It's just we prefer to like go all in and eat the prep meals, and that's why we Everything prep. Be structured out. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I mean, that, again, that's just our like opinion. Like Chris, uh, Chris, do you sleep? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He did, or he just, no, or he just, or he just want to talk about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, I mean, but Chris, but he gets us to go. I like, I definitely enjoy like going out every once in a while. Like, I do enjoy that. It's just, it's more of like a special occasion type thing. Like when Chris is in town, we we'll go out and might have, you know, just live a little bit more. But other than that, we like to just stay strict. It's just easier to make progress. It's. It's easier to be consistent, stay on the schedule, routine, eat your meals when you know you got to eat them. I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's necessarily boring. I think it's. I, I prefer the structure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Here's another one who just lives life, not so strict. Yeah, we're talking about healthy eating and stuff. Yeah, I eat healthy as <laughs> hell. <laughs> All right, but that's it for right now. We got to clean later. I probably work out later. I might prep. But yeah. I tried to go to the gym earlier. I just walked in there and I was like, nope, not happening. That's another thing I don't like about drinking, right? Like it just, it messes up my day, my productivity. I don't feel like I'm hungover, but you feel like sluggish and slow. And I definitely felt nauseated a few times throughout the day. I wanna go to my sink, vomit, clean it up with common. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm going to take some pre-workout. I'm gonna hit the gym. It's not gonna be anything crazy. Thought someone was calling me. They are not. So right now I'm taking this Dimatize pre-workout. It's sweet cherry lime. It's actually really good. I like that. That sour tartness. And then uh, yeah. So I'm gonna hit this workout and then come back eat. And I like I said we were, we were gonna clean up a little bit. So that's what's gonna be happening. I think I'm gonna. Make a uh, low carb pizza or try a healthy pizza recipe. I've been getting a lot of requests for um, that. And also as I continue my cut, I still want to indulge in some of those foods that I like and I love me some pizza. So I'm gonna try to make a healthy pizza, healthier. But yeah, pre-workout. I will mix some of these aminos in with a gallon of water when I stop at the gas station and get that. But then I might hit some arms and we'll be back. So let's head out. A turn on the moves, a sad state of affairs. Half the people die while the rest of us are splitting hands. It's a good world.
Time to head back home, get a protein shake. Made it home. Uh, Alex has already started cleaning. It was good, you know, the only thing like good about drinking is like, it dehydrates you so much, you're just vascular as bug. Ugh. You guys are probably like, whoa, how do you have the screen door open? I thought it was snowing the other day. Like, yeah, welcome, yeah, welcome to Ohio. I'm gonna do some water. And then, go okay, guys, some magic scoop of vanilla. I got chocolate, but I don't look like chocolate at the moment. So I got some awesome nutrition gold standard way. Send an invoice to Optum Nutrition. One scoop. Shouting him out. Yeah. <laughs> Optum Nutrition, anytime you want to sponsor, you know, I gladly take it. I don't know how many bags of protein I bought from them. Like just one, you know? Remember that just little tower we had? Oh yeah, we had so much protein. Just like a free trial even. Like one serving, come on. All right. Mm. All right, so we're about to put this futon together. Now it might seem like sketch or tacky or ghetto, but that is the most comfortable like napping spot ever when you get that futon on there. Alex is back here laughing because he knows. It's so because comfortable. The sun at approximately two o'clock in the afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon, the sun perfectly hits the futon to where it like warms it up. And you open that screen door? Yeah. Or not, you open the door, you get that like fresh air with the the sound of the, uh, the pond. Oh, dude, it's just napping heaven right there. Oh. I mean, the problem is though, like sometimes he's napping and I want to nap, so we gotta. Sh I mean, no you have to share it. <laughs> he, well, at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, but I gotta get the so to save space, like in an apartment, we don't have like a storage. Um, so my bed has this, like has these slats or whatever. So I put the stuff under there. Genius thinking, I know. It's like space savers. So it's a tip for you guys. Like if you live in an apartment, you don't have a lot of space, you need to create more space, get creative, and use your bed. But now I gotta get that stuff out. Futon is built. There it is. I'm about to eat some oatmeal before I make the other thing. So I got some oatmeal here, one cup, just with water. I have some Walden Farms pancake syrup, and I'm gonna add some roasted pecans, as well as some cranberries, or craisins. About to make the pizza. I just got all the stuff. So here it is. There are a ton of different veggies, or meats, or sauces, all that type of stuff that you could add to your pizza. This is just the way that I'm going to make it. I'm not gonna show you the full process of making the pizza because that is gonna be for its own video. But I'll show it to you when it's done and we will do a taste test. Cause I've never actually made this pizza before. I just found a couple recipes and I was like, I'm gonna mix these two together. I'm gonna merge them and see how it comes out. Pizza is done. That took quite a bit longer than I thought it was going to take because as I was doing it, I also had to like alter it a little bit. 
after I started like tasting, like I tasted the pesto, the pesto was pretty strong. So I was like, well, I'm gonna add some tomatoes, grind those up and then mix it with the pesto to like pull back on, on that, like how strong it was. I ran out of banana peppers. I probably would have liked more banana peppers. You know, I don't, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like when I make these new recipes, I don't always get it right the first time either. So I'll probably tweak it in the future to make it a little better. Like I think I needed to cook the crust maybe a little bit more before I added the toppings just because I like mine like a little crunchier. And like the basil leaves are like crunchy. I think there's a way to make them soft. Probably did something to do with like moisture, but I didn't read that far. And no cheese, like on top of it. When I'm cutting and I try to be healthier, I do limit the dairy. Obviously now I put the cheese into the crust, but not on top. Mmm, crunchy bay leaf. Probably the crust again a little bit longer before I add the toppings next time because I want it a little bit crispier in the middle. But that's still that's really good. Mm. This is so good. Mm. All right. I'm gonna finish eating some of this. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing, but I gotta clean up some of my mess. To wrap up this video, Alex made a good point today. Well, he was like, yo, why has it been like seven days since your last video? And I did think about it actually. I realized, if you recall, remember I did, I spent like three days on my taxes. I completely forgot that like business taxes suck. Way worse than like personal taxes. So that kind of, but I'm not trying to make excuses, but that was one reason. Party animal lately. I haven't been a party animal. There were things that were going on that now just they like, you know, they aren't going on. It's, it's, it's life stuff, but yeah. So I'll get back to more regular videos for y'all. And Alex actually brought back some food though. So we're about to grub at this place. What's it called? Crazy, crazy bowls, bowls and, wraps. and wraps. They're not actually that crazy though. They're just normal. They're bowls. not that cray? Yeah. Just normal. We got some sauce there. Yeah, some, some girl told me that teriyaki sauce would be good with it. It's grilled salmon. So grilled, make sure y'all can see this. So it's grilled salmon. And quinoa. And quinoa. It's And then some basic. teriyaki sauce. Yeah. Basic. Nothing crazy, just to. Not like the name? Nothing crazy, but the bulls are crazy. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna eat this. And then that pizza video will be up. That full recipe will be up tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that video and just you know more more general fun to come. More workout stuff, my macros, how to figure out your macros for cutting, all that type of stuff. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Make sure to leave feedback, let me know what you thought, and also please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. 